Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today I'll be doing a review on lip products. As I've been reviewing a lot of Tim products recently, I was wondering what are some good lipstick products out there that I can check out and do a review on. And that's when I found out that Misha had came out with new lipstick products, so I brought them to do a review. The products I have here are Misha's Dear Rouge Sheer Sleek Lipsticks, and thinking about it, the Misha lipsticks I reviewed previously were also from Dear Rouge line, and these Sheer Sleek lipsticks are said to be the moisturizing spring line of Dear Rouge line. Hearing about this, I realized that winter is already over and spring is coming. Somehow, the weather here in Korea has been getting warm. So anyway, let's start my first new product for spring. Dear Rouge's new spring product. Misha's Dear Rouge Sheer Sleek Lipsticks are released in a total of 12 colors with a variety of color spectrums from spring ML Baby colors that feels like spring mood to spring fluorescent colors. The case is a very smooth, shiny, and clean design with the colors of each lipstick, and the lid is magnetized which is very convenient to open and close. Like the name, it has a very light texture that is sheer and sleek, and they glow as if they are watercolor with clear application. It's said that the texture is like this because Misha had used their own sheer glow formula. Not all color stains, from what I see, only the strong colors provide a slight stain. The first color, Orange O, is a fresh orange glitter topper. I think the gold glitter that shines delicately makes the lips look more plumpy. The second color warning sign is a coral color with a bit of orange tone that feels coy. The third color red marmalade feels like a sour marmalade like red. Color Cold Fever is a cold yet passionate pink coral color that's between warm and cold. The fifth color, Gentle Young Boss, is a reinterpreted version of Dear Rouge's number one Young Boss. It's a red that looks strong on the outside but soft on the inside. The sixth color, Berry Fatal, is a very fatal red color like that of concentrated berries. The seventh color, Pumpkin Melon, is a color that expresses the color of melon flesh and is said to be the 2020 trend color. The eighth color, Maple Red, is a soft red color with maple syrup. I think it also looks like lively, dry red rose color. The ninth color, Peach Cinnamon, is a cinnamon color with a slight peach tone. The 10th color, All That Rose, is a chic rose color that looks like something Roxy Hart will use. This is a dry rose color that I like and also seems to be great to use as a base. The 11th color, Dear Rose, as if it was taken out of a page of a lyric, is a calm rose wine color. I think it's more saturated than the former color, All That Rose. The 12th color, Lion Queen, is a strong and charming deep plum wine color. I think it gives off an even more charming vibe with the gold pearls inside. The lipsticks are much more moisturizing than I thought they'd be and are very light in texture, which is my favorite. I thought that they won't last long, but surprisingly, they do stay on for about 2-3 to three hours, but I noticed that the color being removed immediately when I eat something. But just like I showed you, the stronger colors do stain slightly, so I could see that those colors didn't get removed completely thanks to the staining. So since I've showed you all the colors, now it's time to take a look at the combinations, right? I'll show you the combinations recommended by Misha and myself. First for Misha's mix and match look, there were Pumpkin Melon and Gentle Young Boss. Warning Sign and Orange O. And All That Rose and Berry Fatal. And now for the combinations from me. I apply Peach Cinnamon as a base and apply Maple Red on the inner lips. All That Rose as a base and Lion Queen on the inner lips. And Orange O as a base and Red Marmalade on the inner lips. And a tip from Misha, I personally am a fan of dry colors, so it was great for me to use all that rose as a base. But Misha mentions that orange O has the highest transparency in sheer sleek formulation, so it's great to use as a base or can also be used as a top coat to add orangish tone on tints or lipsticks. 
The best combinations I picked were those three, and if you have tried Misha's Sure Sleek Lipstick and found any other great combinations, let me know. These lipsticks have a melting point optimized for lip temperature, so it melts softly as soon as it touches the lips, sticking onto the lips very comfortably as soon as I put my lips together. So I'm still using these lipsticks after I tested them. Moisturizing lipsticks like these are great to use in dry weather of course, but since Misha's Sheer Sleek Lipsticks doesn't feel thick and have a light application, I think they'll also be great to use in the hot weather like summer. And if you like bright, strong, and clear colors, I would like to recommend number 1 to number 7, which are number 1 Orange O, number 2 Warning Sign, number 3 Red Marmalade, number 4 Cold Fever, number 5 Gentle Young Boss, number 6 Very Fatal, and number 7 Pumpkin Melon. And if you like moody, dried, and MLBB colors, I would like to recommend number 8 to number 12, which are number 8, Maple Red, number 9, Peach Cinnamon, number 10, All That Rose, number 11, Dear Rose, and number 12, Lion Queen. In addition, I personally think that when applied in gradation, they feel more like watercolor, which made my lips look smoother and prettier, so I really like how they look when gradated. What about you guys? So my review is still here, and thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!